My name is Barb Broach, and in 1997, my daughter Amy Mosier and I started the Montessori Children's Center. It was a dream that Amy and I have talked about since she was a little girl. She would always say, someday we're gonna have a school together, Mom. That was a dream come true, but it got even better in 2001 <laughs> when our daughter-in-law, Rachel Broach, joined us, and the three of us had the wonderful opportunity to work together. I think one of the things that makes us unique at Montessori is our small family-like atmosphere. That's between like us and our teachers and our families. Um, everyone loves each other. Everyone knows each other. And I think that, you know, creates that um, community that's so unique at our school. I also think that people look for a loving and safe environment, and that is definitely what you get when you walk in the doors at Montessori. I think the Montessori staff and directors is really one of the things that makes the school amazing. Um, you've got a lot of long tenured teachers who really care about the kids um, and are very involved with the parents and that makes a significant difference in the experience. I'd also add that the Montessori instructors seem very knowledgeable on the, the goal of the curriculum and it's a very, very well thought out in terms of exactly what they're trying to um, help the students develop. And it's just a, a very enthusiastic um, place to walk into in the morning and very encouraging and uh, warm and welcoming. My teachers made me feel happy and loved and they made me laugh. We have three classrooms that are made up of three, four, and five-year-olds. The dynamic of the mixed age group is really crucial to a Montessori environment. The younger children learn so much from observing and working with the older children, and the older ones gain confidence and leadership skills by mentoring the younger students. A Montessori environment 
allows the child to build their confidence because they can try, they can succeed, and then they can move on to more complex or challenging work. Maria Montessori developed materials that not only invite a child to be excited to learn, but also fosters independence. The Practical Life Shelf gives children the opportunity to practice everyday skills. These lessons help develop their small motor skills, it helps develop their independence and their concentration, and even their coordination. Some examples of practical life lessons are pouring, zipping, flower arranging, hammering nails, carrot peeling, transferring beads from one bowl to another using tweezers, or cleaning up a spill. Well, our experience with Montessori has been extremely positive. Uh, we liked the fact that Natalie really enjoyed learning and we were pleased with the academic skills that she was developing there. And we also enjoyed the fact that she also built on practical skills too. And she showed a great uh, interest in uh, in, in helping more and being more independent. And that's an important part of the preschool experience too. Grace and courtesy lessons are also incorporated into daily activities to instill kindness, politeness, and respect in Montessori children. Some examples of grace and courtesy lessons are teaching children how to clean up their own spill, how to push their chair in when they leave the table, how to walk around people's carpet squares instead of walking over top of them, and how to introduce yourself to someone. The sensorial area concentrates on comparing and contrasting lessons in the categories of color, weight, shape, texture, size, sound, and smell. Each sensorial lesson concentrates on one quality, but the lessons gradually become more difficult. For instance, the color tablets start off just matching colors. But later, we have color tablet grading, where children will place nine color tablets in order from darkest to lightest.
we all learn in different ways. Some are visual learners, others could be auditory learners or tactile learners. So Dr. Montessori incorporated all these senses into her lessons so children can learn more easily. The language area prepares children for writing and reading through the phonetic approach and a series of activities that progress in complexity. When a child has learned all of the phonetic sounds and is competent in reading phonetically, we begin to concentrate on non-phonetic rules also. In our math area, the lessons and materials start out very concrete for the children. So in other words, a child would be holding 10 beads in their hands, which is very concrete to them. And then it progresses to be more abstract math concepts, which would be a child holding a numeral card with the number 10 written on it. So there is a progression from simple to complex in our math area. Hands-on manipulatives are a crucial part of the Montessori math area and it makes learning math easy and fun for children. The last area of the classroom is our culture shelf. This area encompasses all kinds of lessons um, from geography, history, a lot of biology, uh, botany, zoology, and art. Some of the children's favorite culture lessons are doing map puzzles, learning about the parts of a flower, and studying different artists and trying to recreate some of their most famous paintings. Montessori has been beneficial to our child in many ways. I think one of the first things that comes to mind is just developing a really strong love of learning. Um, I think the fact that Montessori meets children where they are, academically and socially, and tailors the curriculum to them at that point in their lives, really makes a difference in how engaged children are in their learning.
letting the children get outdoors and run and play and move their bodies is really important to us. So we have a really nice outdoor space for our students. We have playground equipment that children love to play on. We have green space, which is just a nice open grassy area that's great for games and, and playing. We have a garden that children take care of and harvest fruits and vegetables out of each summer. And we have a performing arts stage where children can get up on stage and sing or dance or perform. We have a hot lunch that is catered every day and we provide a morning and an afternoon snack for the students. The morning snack is typically self-serve where the children are free to get their snack whenever they feel hungry, while the lunch and afternoon snack are typically served family style where everyone is sitting together eating at the same time. One of the things that I noticed when our daughter got to kindergarten was how well prepared she was, both academically and socially, and her teachers always commented on how uh, well she was doing and prepared she was for her kindergarten year. I met my best friend there when I was three years old, and we're still best friends today. I think one of the biggest misconceptions about the Montessori Children's Center is that it's unaffordable for most families. In reality, that's not the case. Um, our family looked at several different preschools across the Bloomington Normal area and really found the prices to be competitive to the larger centers. Um, but the environment and uh, the academic rigor was completely different uh, at Montessori Children's Center. Personally, I think it's been one of the best investments in our daughter's education that we've made. I think parents want to send their children to Montessori because most of them need childcare, but they want more than that. They want their children to get exposure to uh, an amazing education. And I think that they've heard from their friends and family members that their children were so prepared for elementary school and that also they just loved learning. They, they left Montessori with a love for learning, which is so valuable.